This job, I'm painting stripes on a ceiling. Never did that before. I've done tons on walls, but never on a ceiling. So we're not painting any bulkheads. So I took the measurement from this corner here all the way over there. It's exactly 10 feet. So I split the difference. There's your five foot mark. We're doing six inch stripes. So it's three inch to the left, three inch to the right. So I measured six inch markers end to end. I have to make sure that the last stripe on either end are exactly the same width, in this case, two and a half inches. Perfect. Common problem here, no ceilings are flat. And that's an issue when you're trying to draw your lines. Best thing you do is just use your best judgment, take your time, and if you care, your judgment will be right on. Tip, when you're drawing out your lines, do your best to keep your level on the stripe that's actually gonna get painted, because the level will mark up the wall, and at least the paint will cover those marks. Time for tape. I'm not using any gimmicks, no caulk, no anything like that. I'm not painting the tape line, nothing. Just a lot of pressure. Apply the tape nice and neat. Don't bend, don't stretch, don't manipulate the tape because that's when you compromise it and paint will sneak underneath it. I'm also trying to cover my pencil marks, so I'm going about a sixteenth over just to ensure that I get all of my pencil marks covered by paint. All right, we're almost there. The final piece of the puzzle, the cutting. This is where most people screw up because they're getting stressed out. They want it over with already, and they try to get it in one coat, and all that does is flood the tape line and compromise your line. Remember, two thin coats all the time. Less is more. Thin coats do not flood that tape line. Same thing with the roll. Don't flood the tape line. Offload in the center, and then lightly feather on with a dry roller onto your tape line like so. Not going for full coverage, we're doing multiple thin coats because that's how you keep nice, crisp, sharp lines. So the job isn't finished, but this stripe is, it got two coats. I want to pull the tape just to see if the process is working so I can continue doing what I'm doing. And this line is sharp and crisp. Job is finally complete, let's get this tape off. Job complete, start to finish, took me by myself a little more than four hours. Now, I always said I'm not launching the space shuttle, and we are not, but jobs like this require an incredible amount of patience, detail, and care, and if you have that within you, you're gonna do some great work just like this. Now, whenever these stripes on the ceiling, and if you ask my neck, I'm probably never gonna do it again, but either way, this job came out amazing. Everyone's head over heels happy with it. Thanks for watching. Paint like a gentleman. Katie cares.